Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome to our Mellow. This is a thing, and it is a complicated thing. Someone went, let's take dice-based combat, Civ Hex-based interaction with the game, add in a card game for good measure, and then make it a strategy-based RPG, and then I guess let's make it about humanized uh, sentient animals. Sound good? Let's call it our mellow. So bear with me with this one, because we're in for a ride. But I will say right now, it does blend together to be surprisingly good. So, let's start a new game. You play as a character, a single person. You don't have armies per se, and everyone has their own strengths. They have their own little abilities, and I'm not going to go into them, because they won't make any sense right now, but they've got their stats. Fight and body is just attack and health. That one is easy. So I'm going to play as Zosha the Whirlwind for now, and uh, the four main clans in the game are the wolves, the rats, the rabbits, and the bears, and then the king, which will make again more sense, is a lion. So here we go, these just give you random uh, boosts, you unlock them as you do things, and then we have the AI players who are also going to be going around uh, doing their thing. So here we are then, in the world of Armello, from the wolf to the bear, the clans declare the time has come to take the throne, for rot's creeping, it twists our king. Heroes rise, save our mellow. So here is the king. The rot is a sort of malevolent force that kind of uh, corrupts and encroaches on the land and makes everyone basically crazy and evil and also slowly die. So the once good Lion King that united the four animal clans has been infected by Rot, he's gone crazy, he's being a bit of a bastard, so you have to dethrone him. And to do that, you can do four different things. So first and foremost, you work towards a quest at any given time. So we're going to go for the Dire Bridge Dozen. That will be our quest right now. And we have to go to that village over there to achieve it. So this is the world map. But First and foremost, as I was saying, the victory conditions. You can either cure the King of Rot by collecting spirit stones. You can either fight and kill the King without dying yourself and take his place. You can either become one with the Rot and be a corrupted evil lord and then kill the King and just replace him as an even more evil uh, tyrant. Or, first, lastly, you can wait for the king to naturally die of rot while you have his trust and you will be his successor. So there's four victory conditions and this is the map. It's not massive, but there is a lot going on. So we have uh, the Bear Clan representative up there over in Bear Country. We have the Rat from Rat Country. We have ourselves the second Rat Country. And then finally, we have Rabbit Land over there. So if we start then, we see we have cards over on the left and these are all beautifully well done actually lovely drawn and lovely animated and you have equipment such as this warhammer which you can equip and you have free slots to do so and they make you just better at stuff mainly battle and then you have a party for when you acquire people who can adventure with you such as for example a coin master which earns you more money and they're basically just flavor that you don't actually see them in game and they don't fight for you but they're just neat to have. And then you've got spells, which just do a thing. For example, uh, I could cast the Wall of Thorns on a square and no one could move through it for a night and a day. And then finally, you have... Uh, some political cards which let you do things such as send an emissary to a village and capture it. That kind of deal. So the game really revolves around a night and day cycle. If I start moving over here, you'll see my AP. That basically means I can do that many actions per turn and you get various things that let you modify that. So this flag over here then is a peril and if I step onto the tile, I trigger the peril. The skull. So there is pickpockets here and they're going to try and steal my gold. Now, I have to beat this peril with my wits. In order to do that, I need a sun, a shield, and a sun. Now, I can guarantee the shield by burning this wall of fawns card in that center sun, but I don't want to waste it right now. So, I'm just going to try and roll and hope that my four dice can beat it. 
right, I got two of them. That really sucks, but unfortunately, I get pickpocketed when I walk into town. However, I now capture the town because I was the last person through it, and it will earn me gold every morning. So, morning and night. We're, bear with me, there is a lot going on in this game. So, when you end your turn... You see what everyone does, and then it switches to nighttime. Things get bonuses and uh, negatives at night. Things get bonuses and negatives during day. It basically just dynamically changes the game. Things happen at night that don't happen at day, vice versa. You've got to learn them, deal with them strategy-wise, such as forests at night make you invisible. That kind of deal. So he's currently dealing with a peril, and he failed, which is good. So we're all working towards somehow becoming the king of this land ourselves for whatever means we choose to do so. These stone circles will heal you if you step in them. However, if you're infected with the rot, they just instantly kill you. Rats obviously have an affinity for the nighttime, so I am better at night as uh, this slasher rat person. And boom! A spirit stone. If you collect four of these, then go to the king beat him, you will cleanse him of rot, and that is the spirit stone victory, the only one that means the king stays alive. So at the start of each of your turns then, you can draw cards to fill your hand to do things. So I'm going to take some trickery at the moment, and we get the allies packed. So both heroes gain plus one prestige per turn until either hero dies. So what is prestige? Prestige is down there, and the hero with the most prestige has the ear of the king, or his advisor, and you get to choose which law he enacts at the start of every day, and these have quite potent effects, so being the king's advisor is quite worth doing. So what I might do is, uh, can I see any of the other heroes, because if so I would use this card, but yeah, you also have gold, obviously, and you pay for things like equipment and cards and uh, random events you encounter with your gold, and you just gotta really manage it. Do I want red hot wine? I mean, I can get further, but the thing is, I can already reach it. Mountains give you defense, but they also take double the points to walk through, so I'm gonna arrive in the village where my quest is, and you either have a chance to, uh, to do the non-risky one, get the basic reward, or you can risk it, and gain extra stuff. So I'm gonna risk it. I've got a 50% chance. The uh, green ones are good. Ah, and I failed. That is very, very unlucky. The doubt doesn't charge you. Even with no leader, they defeat you soundly. Afterwards, they buy you a drink and apologize. You're not a good fit. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Ah, oh, man, I can't have that happen. Though we do at least get a little bit of... Uh, prestige, so we got that going for us. So now that we've uh, ended our turn, oh, we're being attacked by the rabbit clan. So here is how combat works in the game. As I said, it is a uh, dice based. We have a warhammer, so we get two extra dice, though they have lots of defensive equipment, which is ridiculous. So we're ambushed, which means we can't sacrifice cards into this burning sun in order to guarantee outcomes, but our opponent only has one dice, so if we get a lot of attack going on, then we can really make this happen. We get five attacks, so we actually manage to break through their defenses and get a little bit of damage. Boom, there we go, and we don't take any ourselves. So, the rabbit over there is going to retreat to the mountain. So, as you see, everything seems ridiculously complicated, but it really does kind of come together quite well. Surprisingly, it is very satisfying to play. And actually, playing this with a group of friends, and everyone is one of the four characters, you can do a lot. There's a lot of trickery, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of working together, and it really can be a very fun time. More perils are being placed on the land and we return to daytime. Who has the most prestige? I have the most prestige with one, which means I am the counselor to the corrupt king, and I can choose which one of these to do. The king plays curse lands across all normal perils. That's quite ridiculous. Or I could inspections across the kingdom. Any hero with rot suffers prestige. Well, no hero has rot, so I guess I'll do cursed kingdom, and we'll see what happens. I hopefully won't run into any of these myself, because that would backfire horribly. Here we go. His declaration roars out across the land. And now they're going to be infected with lots and lots of rot. 
the skulls getting even more skullified. So there was a flying purple creature you saw a few turns ago. There he is, the Bane. So this is a rot creature, and when they attack you, they infect you with the rot, and they use your rot infection against you, and they're quite... They're, well, they're little bastards. They are. Okay, so we want to play to our strengths. We're good at wits, so we could go for the spirit stone and do the wits test, which I think will probably work, though we're okay on spirit, and the royal shield is a very, very good item. So I'm going to go for the burial stones, actually. And, oh, it's where that is. That's unlucky. What I will say is luck is, admittedly, from the game itself, a big part of everything that happens. So you just got to roll with the punches. You really, really do. Can I do any of this? Where is uh, an enemy hero? You know what? Let's let's do a pact with you. We're going to ally pact with Brum the Bear and see if we can't do this. And then do I want to do this? No, not really. I'm okay for now, so let's end my turn. The main reason I want to spend a card is so that I can draw a card at the start of my next turn and hopefully get something a little bit more useful. That sucks, stealing gold from me. Of course from me, you spiteful little rabbit, because I beat you in combat. And the peril? You fail. Uh, for her hail, a Mercurio beheaded Amber. Damn, that is brutal. So it does seem on the surface very sort of, oh, you're playing as animals, isn't this adorable? But no, it really goes for it. And the actual combat animations are really neat. That was pretty brutal. They're having quite the fight with each other. It is Mercurial the rat and Brun the bear. Okay, Mercurio's turns. What is your plan, little rat? What'll he do, guys? Stab him in the back. Stab Brun the Bear. Eliminate him from this rat race. Because you're a rat, so, you know, I got you covered. Ooh, the poisoned. And there the village claims their income is quite a lot more. But now we're night. We got this going on. What is the king? Oh, the rot is uh, twist the king deeper into madness. So basically, the longer everything goes on, the closer the king gets to death. He basically has uh, until his health hits zero, which is seven mornings, to uh, be defeated. So the games aren't really expected to last that long. You're not going to be trapped in here for hours and hours and hours to see your conclusion. I'm going to take a trickery card. Okay, that's all right, arrangers. You get to scout out a location, but I'm not desperate for it. So let's head that way and that I am done. Cool. These are the king's guards. They hang around the place and generally be annoying. You sometimes have to deal with them. If you get in a fight with them, you get a bounty on your head that other heroes can claim for prestige and coin. Just little dynamic things like that. Barkskin makes the rabbit more resistant to damage. It's a spell, and they actually took down the uh, rot creature, which is very good for them because it gains them prestige, which actually might mean they overtake me when it comes to prestige. And right here, they're exploring a dungeon, and you basically just get a random chance for what you loot and find. And she just acquired some gold uh, very luckily. So now Brun the Bear, who is actually quite injured after the fight with the rat. What is your plan, Brun? You're really going into the peril. That's quite... Yeah, that was... I wasn't very sensible. I'll be real with you. That was pretty stupid. And uh, down he goes. The AI sometimes makes questionable decisions. I will admit. And now it is time for... Morning. Once Mercurial finishes doing the rat thing. If you step into swamps, you just take a damage. Okay. Who is the highest prestige? Oh, the bear. That's annoying. So in a tie, it is random. What are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? The king has raised an eerie fog. All heroes gain stealth until the next dawn or until they're spotted. That's quite ridiculous. That is really quite ridiculous. Okay. So let's see. Can we... Uh, Get through this. Don't attack me, random royal guard. You don't need to attack me. So I'm going to move into there. And then we finally arrive at our quest location. We have a 30% chance to do this. We gain rot if we lose. Ah, why not? I'm feeling lucky. Let's do it. Yes, there it is. I actually managed to pull that off. And we've acquired the royal shield, which I 
will equip, and that is a very solid piece of equipment. Then we're going to go a little bit adventuring and earn some money. So all in all, a pretty good turn for us. Do I want a Witch Hunter someone? Still don't really want to. I don't want to ranges anyway. I kind of want to try and break into the king, but with four health, I'll get slaughtered by him. So I guess for now, I'll end my turn. And then basically, guys, this is it. You just rotate round, taking your turns, capturing places, trying to play tactically, exploring, using your cards, throwing each other over, performing temporary alliances, and working your way towards dethroning the king and saving the land, technically speaking. Unless you go for the, I'm going to solve the problem by becoming a an even more evil ruler tactic. I guess that's not really saving the land, but the other three victories at the very least, and yeah, that's, that's, I say that's all there is to it. <laughs> it's still quite ridiculous. Oh, we could get the other spirit stone or a, well, uh, let's, let's go for the spirit stone. Let's go for the spirit stone. What's going on over here? What's our next quest? Those mountains. Another rot creature has emerged. Alright, so we'll play for a little bit more, but in terms of what's going on here, that's really, really it. So I'll move over here. Now I can move into that, or I could go for this peril dungeon and see if I could pull this off. I don't want to risk it. I'm going to go over here and try and head through the village, I think. In fact, I am going to do Red Hot Wine in order to move an extra square and capture this village and chill here for the night. I think that makes a lot more sense. Quite a tactical use of that. Though we are very low on health right now, so we do need to sort that out because we are going to die. If you die, you lose prestige and then you just respawn in your clan grounds at the corner of the map. So it's not horrendous when you die, it's just more a damn it, inconvenience, my plans have to wait a few more turns and ah, you know how it is. Okay. Mercurio, where are you, Mercurio? What are you doing? I don't see your little rat face. Ah, there we go. Battle between Mercurio and Brun once more. Who is going to be the winner of that little concentration? Looks like Mercurio still doing really quite well. Ah, damn, the rabbit has got the prestige lead, so they get to choose the declaration of the king! For royal eyes only. Dungeon and stone circles now restricted. A bounty to any end to these tiles before the next dawn. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Fortunately, I'm not headed to any of them, but that's still very irritating. My only real complaint of the game, then, is it takes so long to get around everyone's turn that isn't yours. We'll take another trickery card. Bounty! Awesome! And we have the money to do it. So, you know what? I'm going to place a bounty on the rabbit, and then I'm going to go and try and claim it. Now, I probably will die here simply because I have one health, but I'm going to kind of go for it because I feel like it. You know, let's let's take a risk here. Let's take a risk. I have good equipment. I have a lot of dice, so I'm, I'm going to go for this because Amber's got a low amount of health. Do I want to burn the ranges? I do want to burn the ranges. In fact, I'm going to burn all three of my cards so I have three defensive dice rolls. That way, I shouldn't, in theory die from this, and we gain a fourth one and a third attack, which lets us do a damage, but my defense is solid, and I don't end up dying from that, so I think that was worth it, I get to injure her a little bit, force her out of the town, claim it for myself, and earn more money the next day, so it's times like that where you really, you gotta be a little bit tactical, unfortunately, because she has regeneration on, the damage doesn't remain, and she'll probably attack me, but I'm still confident in my abilities here, I've got, again, a lot of dice going on, the royal shield, uh, and uh, the two extra attack. Okay, here we go. Do it! Come on. An extra one. Oh, it's not good. Two defense, and they got four attack. Five attack. Ow, 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 the overkill. The overkill. Oh, he dropped dead. That is a shame. That is a shame. And by our poor village, we had you for a morning. We earned a bit of gold, and that is all. So now we're back over in our clan grounds. That sucks. That really sucks. But you gotta roll with the punches. This game, all about rolling with the punches. These two really hate each other. And this time, Brun slays the rat. Which, you know, you would expect to happen in that situation. Brun is quite ridiculous. He is, he is quite the specimen 
of a bear. Like, there's no denying that. Mercurial, unfortunately, has a rot beast right outside uh, the clan grounds. Although they do get to draw another four cards, which I'll get to do as well, which is why it's another advantage to just burn away cards that I don't really like. So that's good. Okay. And that is all, hopefully. Bad result, bad result, come on. Ah, that sucks. And then the king falling deeper into the madness there. The Bane moving on and raising that village. That's poor, poor citizens. Just really poor citizens. So as the game moves on, the map does get a lot more perilous until somebody stops the king. All right, let's take a spell. Wake the trees. That's okay. Let's take an item, an oak spear. That's all right. That's actually really okay. Hoodwinked, unequip all items. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And then we'll take another item as well. Imperils, one bonus die. That's all right. I'd rather equip the spear, though. I think that is... Ah, oh, I can't afford it. That sucks. Can't afford that either. I mean, I could... Do I want to do hoodwinked? There's no point hoodwinking yet, because it basically... Actually, if I move over here, and then... Uh, I hoodwink. Oh, I can't afford it. It costs money instead of magic. That sucks. All right, let's just get revenge on the damn rabbit straight away. This time I have the health to properly fight as well as tr a lot of extra dice. Like, look at this. There's no way I shouldn't annihilate the rabbit here. Come on, give me enough attack. Give me enough attack. Come on. There it is. Look at my attack. I am about to annihilate. Annihilate this rabbit! Boom! Boom! Get wrecked! Overkill! Die! Ha! Anybody feel like some stew? I know I do! Get wrecked! I like this character. They're very good offensively, so they're very much all about the fighting. That's cool. That is really, really good. Okay. Alright, so I think there you go, guys. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna finish the entire hour game against the AI, because really... It's not that satisfying to beat the AI because they're AI. You want this game with your friends. You want to get the four pack if you like the look of it. And you want to have the political game with each other. And that's what makes it really cool. But the actual base game that's here to give you that space to have a great time with a group of your buddies is fantastic. And I think they've done a really good job somehow blending a lot of seemingly complicated mechanics into something that's quite approachable and works. And there is a good tutorial system as well. It really gets you into the game and it really helps you know what's going on. So don't feel like it's very overwhelming because you do get introduced to it quite nicely. So yeah, there you go, guys. My name has been Rage. This has been uh, complicated. <laughs> Armello. And I'll see you next time. Remember to like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.